Hello, hi, how are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for asking, it really means a lot to me. Welcome over to the Neverlander channel. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe notifications and all that kind of, you know the drill. You've heard hundreds of people say this before. We are at Epcot doing food and wine. And today we're gonna be, we're gonna be testing some of the food. Come along, we'll have a good time, I promise. Goodness. It smells wonderful. Holy gee. And that roasted lemon thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Super up my alley. <laughs> Super up your alley. Anywhere in the shade, no one doesn't like Come on. It. It's so hot. We'll go this way. All right, so we grabbed the lobster and we're gonna head into the brew wing lab at the Odyssey to get some shade, air conditioning. And pickles. That's a good piece. That's a pretty decent size. And the garlic butter. Drip it or dip it? I'd rather dip it. Not big. Yeah. Just give this a nice clean rip. You hold all the ideas. Look at this. It's a decent size piece of meat. Ready? No. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it smells delicious. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Give this a go. I'll say this, it's good. I'd almost rather not even have that garlic. Is it garlic butter? Mm -hmm. That's a little too garlicky for me. So if you're a big fan of garlic, you'll like it. I agree. I actually, I like garlic more than Scott does, but I think that's too much easier. All right, throw some more of that. Yeah, give us, take some more of that too. I love, we haven't picked it up in the last video. I like bitterness. Lemon. Pickles, mustard. So much better, just by itself. Well, the the um, lobster itself is already seasoned, so you can see the seasoning on it. So I think it's just like over. I'm gonna give that a seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. I think the seven is good. All right, I think we're just gonna go with the fried pickle squares. Are you good with that? I'm good with that too. All right, so the uh, fried pickle spears are really delicious. Excited to give them a go again this year. Last year was a little bit of an overkill. Let's see those. Having the um, pickle shake with the pickle spears, I was well, kind of pickled out. Just gonna be last honest year, with you. They were not. The pickle spears did not exist here. Well, they, they were, were at the fries fry, and yes, the fry boom. So we need to see what the difference is. Okay. If there's any. All right. It's got one to get close. This smells wonderful. We've already discussed this. And like all things dill, not just the dill pickle and the dill sauce that's on here, it smells wonderful. And he's already taking two. Hurry, 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 hurry. Seriously, you have to right, smell here. it. Like there's fresh dill, like in the sauce. Oh, man, that does smell really good. Oh, jeez. Couldn't even wait for me to get back in the shop. Look at you. I brought a knife in case you needed to cut one in half, but you're out of shot, so if you have something to say. I enjoy that more than a lobster. This is my favorite thing I've ever eaten at food wine. This? Yeah. No, it's not my favorite, but. Well, you're not me. It's my favorite. That's pretty wonderful. All right, how much was this? Five, twenty-five. The sauce is a huge compliment to, I don't know if it's like a dill mayonnaise, a dill ranch. I don't think it's a ranch. I oh, that's typically... pretty wonderful though. I'm not a big pickle guy, but this place has surprised me because when we did the um, pickle shake, like, I thought that was good. I typically don't dip my fried pickles in anything because the pickle itself is the flavor. I don't, I grabbed a ranch cup just in case. Um, not I'm, necessary. No, it's not necessary, but I also am not mad that the sauce is on the pickles. I think it completely adds to the flavor. I would be upset if it didn't have the sauce. Mm, that's good. The batter? 
or just the, you know, all of it? All of it. Nice beard, dude. Grow it myself. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. We just met a guy named Joe. Came over and asked us what the name of the channel was. Maybe we should do this kind of thing out in public more often. Imagine that. It was cool. Very cool. Um, all right. So, long story short, that's delicious. And here in Florida, with the like heat, the constant heat. It's like refreshing. So yeah, pickles are a great way. Let me let me get on my high horse about here being. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm leaving. You can listen, but I'm not staying. My high horse about being hydrated. Pickles are a great way to get um, vitamins and uh, electrolytes. That's the word. You need to replace the electrolytes, and the pickles are full of them. It's yeah. a great way. You know the big fat ones you could get. Yeah, yeah, I know the big fat ones. Are right, you ready? Let's get out of here. Ugh. What's next? Um, what did we say? Oh, I want to go to Belgium. All right, let's go to Belgium. Ah, uh, yes. You guys, this is my favorite place. This is this is definitely my favorite place to start my day when it comes to drinks. They made a uh, a beer by mistake for somebody. They didn't take it. So guess what? They gave it to me. <laughs> I will take it. Smile. Can't complain about a free sword, right? When in Mexico. I didn't get enough time. Dude, I love the Michelada. This is my favorite thing to drink early in the day. To the left of the Brazil booth is- That's Belgium. Is the Belgian booth. And uh, we got, what's the coffee first? This is a chilled Belgian, Belgium coffee. You can see at the bottom the liqueur. It is um, salted caramel. And then a berry compote Belgian waffle with fresh cream. It's not from a can. I remember it from last year, it was very good. Hope it's still good. Compote? Compote, berry compote. A berry compote? Yes. I'm gonna try and stir up this liqueur a little bit because it is really hanging out at the bottom there. Oh, that's wonderful. That's Joffrey's coffee, right? No. It's not? No. All right, I'm gonna cut into this. I do not wanna wear this back right now. I am dying. I'm covered in sweat. I know. I'm dripping. Florida, I love you. Florida, I need you. All right, so we got a little bit of the um, whipped cream. That's whipped cream on there. Mm. I was going to give you the first bite, but I thought it was going to fall up. That's all right. How was it? That is all you. Really? Yeah. I'm out you don't on that. like it's it? Too tart. Um, Do you want to go get the one with the chocolate ganache? No. No, I'm good. I'm gonna drink this coffee now. This is Florida. This is Florida. It's delicious. Uh, I think you should make videos where I just eat food the way that I normally eat it, like unapologetically. <laughs> yeah. And maybe remember to sometimes wipe my face. Mm, no. We really went to town on that corn dog the other day. Oh. All yeah, you are. That was impressive. God, it was delicious. What do you think? What do you think of the coffee and what do you think of the... What is this called again? Berry compote. Compote. Belgian I couldn't remember that waffle. name. What do you think of the compote? I think it's delicious. Okay. I'm sorry that you don't like it. I really am. I think the whipped cream is fabulous. I think the waffle itself is wonderful. This coffee is delicious. I could drink this... All day. All day, multiple yeah. times a day. Yeah, this is this is wonderful. All right, so you crushed this. You feeling pretty good about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You gonna finish that off? We're gonna get out of here? I mean, you told me I could. Do you want any more? Yeah, no, go for it. Are you sure? Yeah, I think this was a good uh, amount of food to do a little bit of a testing at Food and Wine. I can tell you that I forgot all about the Brazil booth and uh, there's some things over there that I want to eat. Specifically the, the Brazilian cheese bread. If you've never had that. It's delicious. Bless me. It's so good. Um, I want to go back to Spain and I want to have the um, 
charcuterie plate with like, well, it's like more like a cup and they've got like fresh olives in it and stuff. I know that's not a you thing. That is 100% a me thing, but it was good last year. Who are you talking year. to? I'm People talking on, oh, me? Oh. to you. Yeah, it's not a me thing. Mm. All right, hopefully you enjoyed having just a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the things that are happening at Food & Wine. Uh, the festival runs through November 23rd. We are locals now, which is so cool. So we could just head over here and have dinner. Um, or lunch or a little snack and I think we've got plenty of time to at least try one thing from every booth um, So that's coming and thank you for hanging out with us today Food and wine has a special place in my heart. It's the first festival we ever did. We did it multiple times and uh, They do have delicious foods Delicious drinks like this coffee here. All right, we're gonna go home So listen if you enjoyed this give us a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe to the channel share with your friends Share with everybody. Find your old high school friends and make sure they're aware of the channel because if you don't, nothing's going to change for us and that just breaks my heart. Anyway, make sure you do something nice for a stranger. Hold the door open for somebody that you don't know. Smile at an old lady. That makes their day. I hear that anyway. And let your mom and dad know that you love them. All right? Is that good? That's good. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you.